Hi, Emily French here, and I have another word and a song for you today. And I was just reflecting on the story in John right after Jesus is resurrected, and he appears to his disciples as they're hiding away because they're scared after everything that's happened. And it says that he appeared in the room and he showed them his wounds, that he showed them his hands and his side. And then he told, then he, it says that he breathed on them and he imparted on them the Holy Spirit and pretty much said, go and do um, greater things. Go and do what, what I've done, you go and do more. And then he sent, you know, commissioned them and sent them on their way. And then Thomas happened to not be there. And the poor guy, you know, I just think about what a title to have, you know, like for all of uh, history, for your name to be Doubting Thomas, like, it's pretty sad pretty sad anyway so he wasn't there and so he didn't get to see this and so the disciples try to tell him and he's like well I'll believe it when I see it and from that you know he became doubting Thomas and the next thing it says that Jesus appeared to Thomas and he said Thomas put your finger through the holes in my hands and put your hand in my side to see my wounds like see me I'm here I'm real and this just struck me because I was just thinking about um, how sometimes we're so afraid or we've been trained to be so afraid or the church is so afraid of people asking questions or people doubting all of a sudden if you have a doubt or if you have a question about maybe a doctrine or about something regarding our faith or our traditions man it's like it's hard to navigate that in the church and so it just struck me because I believe in our doubts and in our questions is where we find him and I think if we don't ever doubt or if we don't ever question we stop growing and so Thomas who doubted he got to have an experience that no one else had so Thomas who had the questions who didn't just say, okay, cool, that's great, I believe you. But he actually was like, I don't know. I want to see this for myself. His curiosity and his questioning actually pushed him into a place that no one else did, that no one else got to experience. He got to put his hand in Jesus' side. He got to touch him. Even in the, in the garden right after he had resurrected, Mary is in the garden and she comes across him and if you remember the story it says she thought he was the gardener and then he called her name and then she realized who it was who he was and in that moment he says to her don't touch me because I haven't ascended to my father yet then in the passage with the disciples it says that he showed them his wounds but then with Thomas it says that he said Thomas touch my wounds put the, your finger through the hole touch, put your hand in my side and so I just was kind of struck by this story this week and wanted to share with you that man keep on questioning if you have some doubts embrace it let it propel you to come face to face with truth with life with resurrected life let it push you um, to not settle but to keep growing to keep seeking and to find him